All right, guys. Uh, so whenever you're traveling, uh, you're always running into dead zones. Uh, whenever you're traveling out of the country, uh, data is limited. You might not actually have access to data at all. So what we wanted to do <coughs> was build a traveling assistant uh, via text or call. So uh, you actually have text, uh, usually even when you don't have data available. Um, no, it doesn't, doesn't so, necessarily apply to, um, you know, if you're traveling and roaming. It could also be in cases when, um, for example, some people may not have smartphones. Um, people that may need information about the city, such as bus routes or um, nearest police station, you know, if they don't have a smartphone with apps, they need some other kind of um, mechanism to find that kind of information. Um, so a lot of the things that we um, we were focused on was having um, the power of the internet be accessible, um, not only over a data plan, but also over text, over voice, and having things like um, uh, translation, um, internalization, um, internationalization, and also um, th um, things you'd look up normally when you're traveling to a new city or when you're traveling in general. You want to know where's the nearest pharmacy, where's the nearest police station, where's the nearest restaurant, where do you go to eat, and directions. Um, if you use the normal Google Maps um, app, that's a very big data hog and you don't want, um, if you're on a limited data plan, um, you can't really afford to do that when you're, when you're traveling, which is ironically when you need it. So we have built a system that actually exploits the fact that we, get, we can get data, the data that we need is not really intensive, we can get that data through SMS or through voice. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you can actually communicate with it in any language you want. Uh, so if you message in one of a hundred languages, uh, it will automatically translate it into English, uh, respond to you. Uh, we didn't quite get the last component which translates it back to the original language, uh, but you can text it in whatever language you want and it'll get it, it'll understand it. Next one. Uh, and then it actually translates any language that you want as well. Uh, so if you want it in Spanish, uh, just say Spanish and then say what you want and it'll convert it. You want Russian, it'll convert it to Russian. If you're, they're talking in another language and you want English, simply translate it to English. Uh, if you want to know what restaurants are available near you, you can actually just text, uh, you can call it. You, you can actually call our, we have an automated um, IVR menu set up that you can call and you can ask for a number of queries like where's the nearest restaurant, where's the nearest um, hotel, where's the nearest pharmacy, etc, etc. And you will get a text that instead of it like reading out a huge, uh, huge amount of text, it will just give you um, a list of nearest locations which are relevant to you. Thanks. Um, once you have the location, what do you do? Of course, you need to know how to get there. So instead of using Google Maps, you can actually say directions to and the name of the location that you just got. And this actually queries Google Maps and it gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions um, right, to the, right to where you're supposed to go. So essentially, this is Google Maps wrapped up inside um, a text-based API. Thanks. Okay, one of the things that um, are very or is very useful is when you're traveling abroad and you have medication. Um, thank you for the um, pill for the, for the little bottle. It really helped. So we we developed a system where you can take a picture of your medication um, prescription or you can take a picture of your bottle. So in this case, it's this guy. We send an MMS and we say, what is this medicine? Um, we actually query the FDA. Um, FDA has a database that has. Uh, generic um, names as well as brand names and it can basically look up what the international generic name would be called that you can show a pharmacy and they'll, they'll give you the same medication. Um, we, get, um, we get a response back from, by MMS um, and it actually tells you what, um, what that medication is. Um, this works not only for um, visual input, it works for text as well. If you know the brand name of your medication, you can just text our bot what is Benadryl called? And it will give you back, or what is um, Tylenol called? And it will give you back the active ingredient that you can show a pharmacy around the world and they'll give you the equivalent. Okay, next one. Okay. No, actually, go back. Don't this. Okay, cool. <coughs>
So the way, it, uh, just a brief idea of the way it works. Go ahead and uh, pull up the demo. Yeah, pull up. Uh, okay, so now we're going to show you a demo. So everything that we showed you here actually works end to end. So we're going to show you a demo of all the features that we that we implemented. Uh, so we have multiple phone numbers, and basically what happens is uh, <coughs> you send in a text. It uh, registers the uh, type of question that you're asking using machine learning. Uh, then it feeds it into one of our many API calls, uh, whether it's translating or doing all, uh, any of the other things that we asked. Um, and it can handle any of those uh, responses. So if you say hello uh, in any language, it will give you the types of responses that you can get. Um, as we showed you before, if you t uh, uh, text it a language and then what you want it to say, uh, it can translate it. You can ask it for where's the nearest hospital. Oh, it's going to say I need my location. It'll prompt you for the for your location. Uh, so you want to give it as relevant information as you can. That one is. Uh, he has to spoof it. <laughs> not actually spoof it. I, I've done that. I've only supported it through um, on iOS. There's like a send Google location. No. Um, do you have our Slack up? No. Yes. No. Let me let me switch to my computer. I have that. Uh, I have that demo working. Anyway, so essentially, all these services uh, are running right now. We can actually give you uh, the numbers that we. Yeah. So we can give you the numbers, and you can text it whatever you want. So um, if you're if you're looking for medication, you can actually take a picture of your Advil or Tylenol box, and it'll tell you what the active ingredient is or what to ask for. You can just ask it, um, what is the generic name for? Okay. And we get the nearest hospital. Yeah, it's over there. Let's try. Um, let's try. What is the. Um, let's throw out a. Uh, generic medication name. Anybody take any medications? Ibuprofen. Ibu Ibuprofen is actually <laughs> generic. Okay. That's the generic. That's, that is the generic. <laughs> Tylenol. What, what is this? Advil. Advil. It's Advil. Okay. What is, uh, what is the generic name for Advil? Advil. I hope it likes this. Uh, yeah. I hope it likes that input. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. There you go. And what language? Pick a language for us to translate into. Russian. 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 Russian? Okay. French. I'll do both. French. All right. What do you want to say in French? Anybody? Parle tu fromage. No. <laughs> <laughs> what would you want the French for? Uh, uh, How do you like cheese omelet? How do you like cheese omelet? How? Uh, wait, do I have to give it English to translate English. French? Yeah. Yeah. So no, I mean, give it in French to translate it to English as well. And it goes to any language. A cheese omelet. Like, okay. Any language? Uh, one of one hundred and ninety. Thing. Uh, we're feeding into the Google Translate API, uh, which has a so that's, huge amount that's of the French for I do uh, yeah. So Russian, what do you want to say? And you can Russian? actually say things in other languages as well. So uh, say bonjour. How I spell this? B O N J O U R. I want to English. No, no, after Russian. Just after Russian. Oh, okay. Yeah, just type in whatever you want translated. Bonjour. So that's actually from French to Russian. Yeah. So we automatically detect whatever language you're typing in, and then we do a translation into um, the language that you specify. So do um, you want to do the voice call? Well, we can do some more. It's like directions. Oh, directions. directions. Yeah, so directions. that's enough. Yeah. No, yeah. we have this. <laughs> yeah, voice, 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 voice. Voice, voice. Yeah, that's right. The one that you just called, yeah. 
Okay. This is what happens when you add too many features to something. <laughs> Press one. To get the nearest restaurant, press two. To get the nearest restaurant, press three. To get the nearest restaurant, press four. Well, I'm trying to hunger. Press five. Nearest gas station, press six. Yeah, I'm a little hungry right now, so. Yeah, press two. So. And then you're going to get a text message. Yeah, actually, just text him back right now. Yep. It's kind of hard to see on the phone. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little tough, but. Uh, there it is. Yeah, basically, you should have to go live. And as you can see here, um, a number of restaurants just popped up uh, okay. on the uh, So we get the list of the closest restaurants. So essentially, this gives you a list of whatever you're looking for. And you can take that name and just text, I want directions to, or how do I get to, and you get turn by turn directions. <coughs> Any questions? Yes. On the voice direction demo, how does it go where you are right now? Good question. Uh, we cheated a little bit there. We, we sent via text earlier. Uh, so uh, you can send it a text and say, I'm like, you, they were laughing long. So which you could get from the GPS. So. Their, their uh, voice input doesn't support uh, currently uttered strings or uttered, uttered characters, so we can only use the, the routed tree with numbers. We would otherwise have taken in the string or the, the utterance and then converted it and tried to parse it. What's up? How long does the, um, I guess, like, the store user input, like, user data, they don't know where locations are? Uh, a whopping until I restart the program. <laughs> <laughs> The goal was to clear it out after each uh, iteration. Uh, we just had, haven't had the time later. Yeah, so essentially, it's basically session based. So our the actual production design would be you, only, you initiate a session by entering your location, and then once you're done after a certain timeout of no activity, the session expires. You can also say stop or go away, and it will it'll delete your location. Right. Any other questions? If not, again, excellent job, guys. Well done.